Um, hello everyone, today I'll be doing a quick unboxing and uh, first impressions of um, the Logitech G143 Carbon, um, I guess gaming keyboard. Uh, yeah, costs I think $100 Canadian. I think it's from 2017 actually. Yeah, let's get the unboxing started. So, you pull it out of the box. What it says on the back and get this cardboard thing. I assume you pull it out. Yeah. Not sure how to pull it out. Um, oh. yeah. So it flips open like this and there's the keyboard. And the wiring, right? Um, two USB cables for some reason. I'm not sure what the purpose is that of that is. Um, hopefully, I don't have to connect both of them in order to use it. Um, and here's the user manual. Please don't tell me I have to use both of them for... <sighs> okay. Okay, and here's, I guess, extra keycaps. Um, yeah, um, I guess extra keycaps and keycap remover. Um, I think these ones are, I guess, a bit more special um, in terms of color. I think they look almost the same, but except, I guess these are the specific gaming ones, like the QWER ASD 12345. I think it's like for some gaming stuff, but not sure. Okay, I guess now I'll take out the um, packaging. Okay, uh, took it off the packaging. Um, it's like a nice carbonish look. A bit metallic. It kind of feels a bit iron. Not sure, but it's not plastic. I'm pretty sure in this part. And there's the first impressions of the keys. Obviously, there's a USB port, so even I'm plugging in two, um, definitely guess it's a replacement, so yeah, I guess makes things a bit better. Um, yeah, as you can tell, um, keys are quite separated, quite high, pretty mechanically mechanical, like feels pretty good. Um, got the numpad, of course. Um, all feel pretty much the same. Obviously, the box is not the best resting place for it. You hear some metal reflect reflections, noise to it. I think this lights up, but there's a tape on it right now. I remove it later. I'm obviously the Windows key. Um, Control, Alt, Delete, Shift, Caps Lock, uh, the usual keyboard stuff. And of course, there's um, this thing at the back, um, which you can obviously raise. Only two heights, the default and the additional raised one. And I think this removable part might be for... I'm not too sure if it, I don't think it's removable, but yeah, when it's raised, it provides a bit more elevation, as you can see over here. 
Um, no wrist provider, unlike the GM143, M13, GM13, but overall, um, it's pretty solid. Like, I think these are like reprogrammable function keys and whatnot. Like, see the brightness, the play, pause, forward track, backward track. Obviously not as good as, as I guess, some other keyboards out there, but um, pretty solid game keyboard overall. And I guess let's get it plugged in and see how it looks. Ugh. Okay. Um, get rid of the old keyboard. And now it's a new keyboard over here. Um, the cables are pretty long, as you can tell. Like, it can extend probably a meter and a half, I estimate. Um, just plug these two in to the dongle, which I'm using right now. One, two, and the min. And here's how it looks, uh, illuminated. Obviously, um, pretty cool. Um, it's not RGB. I mean, I guess it's kind of the most um, budget-ish style keyboard. Um, I guess budget gaming keyboard, not the most budget, but um, one of the lower end ones still has a red light. Um, but overall, um, it's a, so far it's pretty solid, um, like, you can tell the keys are it's nice like g413 100 bucks wherever pretty much wherever you get it um yeah i guess additional specs if you're wondering like um pretty nice i guess right now on default for max actually um, it seems like this is for brightness, as you can tell, like, first pressing the, this key, the default for brightness. I guess, wondering what this key is. Not nothing really preset yet, but I'm pretty sure I can set it in the Logitech G app thing. Um, how about the pause play? Not really set yet, I guess. The brightness is not for brightness. F8 key doesn't really do much. Yeah, it makes sense that these ones work, given that this is a Mac. Um, but yeah, overall, like, pretty solid. Um, pretty compact compared to the previous one I was using. Um, the Logitech K330, um, I think this is like six or seven years old. This one's only like four years old. Um, yeah, so let's just get with the setup of the G413, um, it automatically detected it, of course using the G502 mouse that I think I did a video for like eight months ago, but G413, I can customize it, and let's see, um, color, only one color, but you can, I guess the good part is that you can change the shade, let's just do a dark, dark, bright, bright, obviously you prefer a bit darker, um, and of course you could do like, I guess, breathing off, fixed, but just like standard, this should be soft, pretty solid. Um, assignments, um, obviously we just saw these ones are for, um, I guess, oh yeah, I forgot to say numlock. Numlock doesn't really have the light, caps lock, light. Not sure if G is, or G shift, but yeah, G shift. Of course, programmable F keys. Not really too sure what I should do for those in the future since it could be quite useful actually, except um, I don't know when I need specific F keys. Like for example, F12 for the Google Chrome developer tools, like, and then Chrome developer tools, which is obviously um, for whatever I'm, maybe for work or something I may need it. So probably don't really want, want to reprogram F12, but of course, like um, maybe like F5 to F8, I can, definitely reprogram them. Um, of course, there's lighting, game mode, 
Um, so the keys you don't want to accidentally hit. Um, yeah, and to the base to main settings you can set from F1 to F12. And I guess we could try out um, F1 to F12. Um, I guess we can do F... F9 will be play pause. Let's try that. Use default disable. Not too sure what that means when I click on it. Oh, or I could disable, I guess, the... Don't really want F1 since the F these F keys are for League of Legends, I guess, viewing your teammates. F5 could be use default disable. Not really too sure what that means, but I assume it means disabling, um, like enabling dis disabling these macros. Okay, so um, let's try to find play and pause. Uh, can't really do that. Not here. Keys. Nope. Actions. Nope. Macros. System. Obviously, you got volume up and down, of course. Um, very useful. Volume up, volume down, mute. Um, okay. Let's do... Play, pause, F6. Or actually, just do F9. F9, play, pause, because it says it right here. Um... I guess, don't really need stop since I don't really care about stopping something. I uh, don't really need next track or previous track. I guess F10 could be next track. Um, let's just do volume up. F8, volume down, F7, um, volume mute, F6. I said before, F5 will be the use default disable. Okay. Oh. Okay, not sure. Look, okay, let's just tr try to see if it works. So, F6. If it works. Um, F7. F8. It works. Um, let's just see if F9 works. Um, press this. Of course, that works. Um, next track. There's no next track, but yeah, um, seems like the macros are working fine. I'm not sure what default disable means, but let's press F five and let's try F six again. It's still working, so I'm not sure what use default disable means, but I assume clicking on it means um, just default and not really doing anything. Um, okay, so yeah, that should be it, um, yeah, pretty cool, um, that's the first impressions of the G4, um, G413 keyboard, um, overall, um, it's liking it pretty nicely so far. Not, not the most quiet, but it's a, it's a nice clicky feel as well. So yeah, overall, um, that's it for the um, um, setup, um, unboxing, for some impressions. Um, it's pretty nice so far. Thanks for watching.